Hey and welcome back to my tutorial about movie making and games. This time it's going to be about uh, Sony Vegas, at least mainly about Sony Vegas and a little bit about After Effects. But uh, After Effects isn't really needed to create movies. Sony Vegas is needed, in my opinion at least. And um, yeah, I, I use After Effects to create some uh, pro S outros and intros with nice text effects. And uh, yeah, it's not really needed to create a basic movie with a good quality, it doesn't affect the quality or anything. So let's get into um, Sony Vegas. We last, uh, we ended uh, with our last tutorial in Virtual Dub, or we ended at Virtual Dub, and um, we uh, we made our screenshots that we recorded in ET into an AVI file in Virtual Dub, if you remember, I hope so. Um, so now we're in Sony Vegas, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play around with the AVI file. So let's first oh, make a new project, new. Um, the template you want to use is HDV 720 uh, 25p uh, 1280 by 720 pixel format and 25 FPS frames per second. Uh, full resolution rendering quality should be best, of course. Motion blur type, Gaussian, deinterlacing method should be none, and the rest should all be set if you click the template. So. That's sad. Click OK. We want to open our uh, file, our AVI file from Virtual Dub. Uh, I have it somewhere here. There it is. OK. So this is a little clip in ET. Nothing special. Well, it is special, but we're going to make it even more special now. Uh, the HSL adjust, that's a really cool effect. It gives a nice boost to the colors. Some of you might know it already, if you already had uh, Sony Vegas, of course. Um, as you can see, a big explosion of colors now. It looks cool, at least at some points. But on on bright areas, it just looks a bit too much. I think. I mean, you can go for this look if you really want to, but I prefer putting it on 1.5 or something like that, so it doesn't go that extreme. Give it a bit of a neutral color. So, uh, anyways, that's a cool effect. You can find it at the H H S L. Okay. You can use the color corrector, uh, and uh, yeah, any of these effects are pretty cool, at least if you edit them, because it doesn't look cool right now. But if you um, yeah change some settings, and uh, I don't know, I'm failing at the moment, but that doesn't matter, because I look cool because I'm on internet. Anyways, we kind of we're gonna remove um, this thingy, create it like this. Okay, this well looks pretty decent. No big editing or anything. It's just a clip with a bit of color correction to make it look a bit better, at least in my opinion it looks better. So we want to um, render this out, this out and um, that's going to be done by File, Render S. Then you have... well, I'll shut up. Uh, you can save it as you like, but you need to save it as an AVI. Click that. Uh, then go to custom at the template settings. Go to video. Wait, this should be best. And video frame size HDV uh, 720. Well, it's all I guess. If you click the template, good. This all should be fine, except from the video format. For some reason, it's always on the sign form HD codec, but it should be uncompressed. And again, guys. Um, some guys have been asking me like if if my video if you render it out in virtual dub and then you're gonna open it in uh, Windows Media Player or your VLC Media Player whatever it's gonna lag because the file is just so big that uh, the movie player has yeah, has problems with uh, just um, playing it in a normal speed so don't worry about the speed um, when you're watching it in um, in your media media player just open it in Sony Vegas and it should be, if you did it correctly, um, it should be normal speed in your Sony Vegas then. So don't worry, don't cry. Um, interleave every second zero. Uh, it, it's all good. You should leave it like this. Audio is good as well. Click OK. Um, yeah, put in a name. Be creative on the name, of course. Always pick um, a good name because if you, if you don't pick a good name, um, your video can get less quality, so always take a name like uh, Musashi or 
uh, I don't know, something like that. So the quality will be better, I promise you. Uh, click save and uh, enjoy. Hey, and welcome in my After Effects. As already said, you don't really need After Effects to create perfect movies or uh, at least to create good quality. It doesn't affect any quality changes. It's just for um, some extras like uh, cool texts for intros and outros, be epic and everything. Uh, always use After Effects, don't use Sony Vegas to make uh, cool outros or wannabe cool outros because in Sony Vegas your intros and outros will fail. 100% guaranteed. Anyways, um, I want to start a new project. Okay, uh, composition, new composition, and uh, yeah, you all know what it is. This is um, the HDV 720 25p, the width and the height, and the frame rate. You all know the numbers. We've done them before in Sony Vegas, so uh, shouldn't be a problem. All cool. If you have this template, you need to select it. So don't think, oh, it's cool. Click OK because you need to select it here and then the settings will jump to this okay then we have our awesome black screen that's like if I could create a movie that was only with a black screen I would totally do it but it's kinda hard anyways we wanna open up our um, clips clip that we made and obviously we're gonna click on it and drag it into the time bar timeline whatever and uh, we have it again and uh, yeah, you can add your uh, animations text effects and anything like that in uh, After Effects now but I'm not going into that because this tutorial is mainly based on um, the rendering in best quality so um, yeah I'm not gonna talk about the text effects you, you can ask uh, Andrew Kramer from videocopilot.net for some awesome ass video tutorials I mean great guy nobody uses the the videos as well so if you use it you're like the only one using it okay anyways we want to render it out and for that we're gonna click composition make a movie then we'll see this render queue pop up and um, the output module you can click on it and I think if you if you click the right template uh, when you're creating a new composition the settings should be okay but just to make sure uh, you can pause the video on YouTube now to check if everything looks the same and um, yeah but I'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure that it's all the same so yeah, I'll, I'll let you look at it but uh, it's not really needed I think the output too you can uh, yeah that's where you're gonna save it obviously so again pick uh, a very cool name like Musashi or something like that and um, it will guarantee better quality of course uh, a bit sharper better colors and uh, yeah stuff like that so save it but uh, with some skill some nice names anyways um, save and that's it enjoy uh, whatever you want to do